What up, my veggies? My name is VTR, and welcome back to another movie, uh, not movie, a uh, season review. It's been a minute since we've done one of these. Uh, and today we're doing season three of the, uh, that's a four, season three of The Walking Dead. So I just actually finished rewatching it. I started rewatching it a while ago, and I was like, oh, let's continue rewatching it now. Um, and. As I decided to watch, sit down and watch this episode uh, of this season, and uh, because season season two was like we were stuck in one area that's like, and then ninety percent of the time, looking for a girl that turned out to be dead the whole time was kind of kind of took a toll on the whole season. Uh, I don't remember what I initially thought of, uh, when I did my review, but. Uh, this season you do a pretty good. We're in a prison. Uh, we have a pretty decent villain with the uh, the governor. Uh, we find out pretty much some uh, Andrea has been um, separated from the rest of the group, and uh, we get introduced. Shown we introduce some new characters. We keep some of those characters. We lose some of those characters, and there's some pretty. Uh, we uh, Merle returns. And a lot, there's a lot that happens. Uh, we lose, like, lose T Dog. We wind up losing Ant. Oh, by the way, spoilers, 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 spoilers. If you haven't seen season three, spoilers galore. Um, we wind up losing T Dog by the end of the season. And, uh, but I uh, was T Dog, he's on pretty early in the season. We wind up losing her, Hirsch loses his leg. Andrea dies. Um, some of the new characters we meet that are pretty cool with. Uh, die. We get introduced to some new characters like Tyrese and Sasha, and and all them. And we, Maggie and Glenn get engaged. Uh, and when you slowly throughout the season see the governor start to become even crazier than he is when we first meet him. Like you see, like dude, this dude has like no humanity at this point. Um. Um and. It has a good lead into what season four will be. Um, overall, I think the season does pretty much exactly what you want it to do. I think it ups the ante um, from season two. I think the season just overall is just. I think it's a it's it's a. I think the new characters are done really well. Michonne, looking back now, Michonne in her early seasons. Um, in the early season, like definitely not the best, and like, but you come to like her more in the season later in the season. In the season, when you first meet her, you're more like, mm. uh, there is one episode where I thought they were gonna go, it was gonna be a full flashback episode because I don't remember everything, and I was like, oh, wait, this is a full on flashback. I, was like, I hate when like something dramatic happens in these shows, and then we get like a flashback to something else. Uh, episode dedicated or jump to another character and it focuses just on that. That, that stuff annoys me, with, uh, especially with The Walking Dead because it does it a few times. Um, definitely some later down the road if you you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Um, like, um, but the characters in this season are all are super interesting and there's a whole bunch of interesting dynamics and dilemmas going on. Uh, throughout this season, and overall, I think the season just Rick kind of goes crazy a bit, which I'm not the biggest fan of that. But then also the baby's born. But we also lose Lori in this season. Um, I think for me though, the character the biggest loss is T Dog. Personally, that's like the the biggest like oh no, we lost T Dog. Like that's that's probably the biggest ah oh, what to me the biggest uh like oh i can't believe he's gone character uh obviously we lose andrea in the finale but i don't know that wasn't as andrea's not really a character i cared for that much uh i know in the comics she's a she's a very a much more important to the story she winds up hooking up with rick and all that later i don't know how, i don't know when that happens in the comics but i know it happens um but yeah, season two, I mean, season three, I think is just, overall, I think it's making up for how kind of slow um, season one was, and I mean, season two was, and Herschel's character development is much, I have a lot of character development for him here, 
and I think he's a much better character. Even though he's a good character in the first season, I mean in season two, but in this season, I think he's a much better character. I think he's a lot better written, and you like him a lot too. Uh, personally, I think I'll give this season a solid three and a half out of five season. I think it's a pretty dang good season. Um, and yeah, that, um, that's really all I gotta say. I'm not gonna stretch this video out to ten minutes. Uh, I, um, I'm deciding to re-review, rewatch the whole show before I tackle all the new spinoffs and everything. And uh, also, I plan on reviewing The Walking Dead. As well, so I'm gonna start watching that soon as well. And so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.